everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Marshall. Now, of course, before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Without further ado, let's go jump straight into it. Now, the random choice of map was Silk Road, and it will be like a... Uh, I don't know, diagonal <laughs> position. I'm going to be at the bottom right-hand corner. And um, Marshall will obviously be located at the top right-hand corner. Without further, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, skip some ports here. We're going to have to, you know, gather those containers. Yeah. Okay, and so going HQ level 3. Okay, and uh, he'll basically get this super container around here with the help of those cyclones, which can really, really be annoying as they can outrange your, um, well, basically your armadillo. Okay, so I built two supply centers, upgraded for a salamander level 2, level 3 for jaguars, and I'm already expecting this attack coming right up here. Okay. Now, the primary reason as to why I had a, you know, level 2 X facility right off the bat is because I am expecting a, uh, what do you call this, like a Seraphim right after this attack right here. And so, I'm trying to micro my stuff here away from those Typhoons and at the same time try to get rid of those Typhoons while those Hammers and the Assaults as well as the Cerberus are actually focused on my Supply Center. There you go. This will give my wasp more freedom to move around the map or move around my base. The jaguar has popped out. This will obviously help out in the defense. He'll go retreat for a few moments here. And now, if you may have noticed, I've already rebuilt the lost supply centers that I uh, well, that was that he destroyed. And he also got this uh, typhoon above this cliff, which will also be destroyed, I believe. Yes, it will be. Okay. Now, Salamander is already out, as you guys can see right there. And, uh, yeah, this was a mistake here on my end. <laughs> okay, Miss Micro. Now, if you may have noticed, I built or used a uh, reconstruction boost to, uh, well, obviously, reconstruct the, the two supply centers that I lost uh, earlier for free. To reconstruct them for free. Now, I got like nine supply centers now. And also upgraded my HQ to level 4. And then I have a safety amount or a safe amount of units to safeguard my base. Like 4 porcupine, salamander, armadillo, and 3 jaguars there. Okay. Additional power plant. And then of course that special vehicle factory. And another vehicle factory right there. Another special vehicle factory. And yeah, that just happened right there. Okay. So the uh, that annoying wa that annoying seraphim is actually attacking me while the grand forces are attacking me at this location. There you go. He actually attacked the uh, wrong special vehicle factory. He attacked it too late. Well, after spending the passive ability of the seraphim on that power plant and then switch targets to the special vehicle factory level one. Now here we go. I got like my uh, porcupines right around here targeting that annoying Seraphim and I'm still on uh, a switch to air raid boost and there you go huge chunk of damage has been taken out again my salamander here is just class 3 okay he managed to destroy one of my uh, special vehicle factory but that's completely fine he lost a ton of units for that and I barely lost anything I did not actually lose a single unit so that's a W for me a special vehicle factory costing 250 resources is basically nothing compared to a bunch of Zeus in hammers. Yep. Okay. And there you go. Repaired that uh, power plant. And I'm going to have to try my luck in terms of obtaining that container. Now, Seraphim, I saw there with the hidden infantry. Okay. I'm going to have to use some of my uh, porcupines to go back in my base. And now he's attacking that Avia factory. And again, he's going to have to retreat. Yeah, porcupine damage to Seraphim. Garbage. Okay. And now, of course, he knew that my units are there. 
Okay, well, there's a super container that he's trying to prevent me from obtaining. Leviathan is already out. Okay, you're gonna have to fast forward a bit right here. And then, for some reason, he just knows that, well, yeah, I have a chameleon out because I stated that during the stream. Yeah. Okay, well, that's completely fine. <laughs> We're just gonna have to somewhat, uh, you know, like, ransack some buildings, like the barracks, the power plant, unpowering his stuff for a few seconds, technically trying to be annoying right there. There you go. And then, we're gonna have to try our luck here with the uh, acid strike. Okay. With acid strike? No. No can do, sir. Okay, my class 7 wasp has been destroyed. Okay. And I'm gonna have to relocate my army at the bottom or at the left side of the map right there to have a better concave where his army is not in position. Picked up a special vehicle factory and a supply center, which basically means that will delay his resource production. Okay, and also trying to snipe that vehicle or avia factory rather. And going back around here, okay. Managed to snipe that off along with the Zeus. There you go. Very, very good. And then I'm going to have to retreat. Oh no! You might actually launch the skill. No! Oh man! Three Jaggers right off the bat. Okay. He has plenty of Zeus now, although I did manage to destroy some, but I actually lost a bunch of Jaggers along the way. Now activating one chameleon at a time here. Okay, checking with the uh, vertex. Okay, and ooh, just look at the magic here. I'm moving over here, he moves over here, and then I move around here, he moves right there. Ooh, very magical enemy. Okay, and so. I'm going to have to retreat for a moment in here. I had my units stationed above that cliff and my hero, and he moves his army inside his base, which is, well, basically normal. Okay. Okay, here we go. Launching the nuke. Acid strike and nuke. Huge chunk of damage. Okay, and I'm going to have to move my stuff away. Okay. I actually had this right there as a uh, fake out and then this primary or a larger force detachment a little bit of larger force um, to attack right at the side now he actually knew that and are going to retreat without even scouting well he may have actually known that because there's only one Jaguar but yeah he even knew where the Jaguars are located launched the skill right there very perfect enemy yeah when I'm not lying they don't play like that all right, so yeah, uh, going back here as of course, oh, majority of my Jaguars has been owned. And then of course those uh, Vertex, I'm expecting them to fly, which I think they will. Ooh, and now he's gonna have to take the fight now into us. So you guys can see right there, I think uh, I do have a new Jaguar produced. Okay, targeting the uh, shield generator with the Salamander. Some of my chameleons have run out of energy. The blue egg. Okay, huge chunk of damage out of that shield. Although, what do you expect? It's just class 3 salamander. Zoning at that seraphim. Yep. Okay, some of my jaguars are not firing as they are not micro properly. Thanks to the lag, game boy. Alright, so majority of his units are still alive. However, they are badly bruised up. There you go. Destroy three. Zeus there with that one hawk. Very, very nice. Okay, again, another Zeus. However, that um, active skill of the Solara has actually changed the game. So I'm going to have to be forced to retreat. Majority of my porcupines are destroyed. And he has like five vertex there. And my Leviathan is not full health. So this is quite dangerous here for me. He added two more buildings right there. I'm assuming that is a uh, an avia factory and an airfield to go more vertex faster. Okay. Wow. I moved my hawks. He moved his vertex. Very perfect enemy. 
Okay, there you go. And now there's like five vertex against my uh, stuff. Oh wow, Jim Boy. Now at this point, I actually wanted to go for Albatrosi. Okay, as I plan to obtain this middle section of the map, which I will be obtaining in just a few moments from now. All right, another engagement right there, targeting the uh, shield, throwing the acid, and then the nuclear right after. And kablooey. And again, salamander skill, kablooey. No more shield for you, my friend. All those Zeus are out of shield coverage. That shield is way out of position. And just like that. The battles instantly turned in my favor. However, I'm still not out of the woods just yet because I still lack the porcupine count to go above that cliff and safeguard my leviathan against those vertex. And here he goes. He's gonna go do an attack right now and I obviously don't have anything here to defend my uh, leviathan against those vertex as my wasp has been destroyed. Okay, he lost what? One vertex. He's going to retreat. And now he's going back. Okay. Okay, and now he's clearly right after my Leviathan here for some reason. Okay, again, I failed to use another boost here. Okay, lost two Vertex now. Three, four Vertex. Uh, make it five. Okay, five Vertex for a Leviathan. I'd still say that's a W for me since, uh, well, a Leviathan costs less than five Vertex. Okay, so we go and do this. And now I got like a pl plenty of units right here. And again, he knew that from here that I'm going above the cliff. And he's going to use the Solar Sina shield for that. Yeah, I mean, super godly enemy. Destroyed plenty of my units there, four of my units. Destroyed the Typhoon. Okay, I mean, that Typhoon will not justify a view right over here. Magical Typhoon. Godly. And here we go, targeting the shield. Okay. Okay, that's actually a miss. I shouldn't have focused my Jaguars on that Solaris if my Salamander is already going to fire it. And by the looks of it, that Solaris is a lost loss already. So that was a waste of skill. Okay, Cerberus has been destroyed. He only has what? Four Zeus now and a Typhoon. Okay, collecting that container right around there. Okay, intense fight here to gain control over this area. Okay, reproducing some of his stuff. And now I'm slowly going to have to climb my albatross gun, as you guys can see. I'm not going to use the albatross just yet, as I am waiting for them to go in critical mass in order to destroy that X facility in one bombing run. Okay, and that vertex still lived to see another day. Okay, we only got like two, three, four Zeus, and a shield. Okay. Yeah, they don't seem to die at all. Okay, I'm going to use a gold scouting boost to move away. Because four Zeus just will not die. Alright. And uh, I have here the super container. Almost collected it. A, a healthy amount of porcupines there. A healthy count or my Leviathan is in good health. Okay. Okay, he has like 30 vertex now. The Solaris also popped out. Using a uh, recovery boost to recover the HP of my band leader subunits. And here we go again with that Solaris. Okay, I'm gonna have to move my units around here as I don't want that Solaris to beam my units out of existence. Okay, fast forward here by a bit. And that one Typhoon is... Yeah, it's actually one. Well okay, he's rebuilding that, um, or reproducing that Vertex Scout. Okay, I wonder how he will proceed now as he doesn't have any scout here above this cliff. Okay. And slowly but surely, 
My albatross count is increasing now to three. Okay, reproducing my salamander that I lost. More chameleon jaguar porcupine here on my end. Okay. Let's see how it's gonna happen here, or what's gonna happen here. Using an air raid boost to extend the range of my view for the Leviathan. There you go, because if I use another boost, I will have less range. Here you go. Launch the acid strike and the nuclear. Boom! Huge chunk of damage. And then I'm going to have to fall back here in order to protect my wasp and the Leviathan against those vertex. We just cost a huge chunk of damage out of his army. And then I'm going to have to try and move up here and attack him. So there will be two detachments here, one from the right and one from the bottom side of his base. Now that Avia Factory is going to be cleaned and spilled off. Okay, going to have to fill that off. Ooh, huge chunk of damage. Porcupine's going ham, as usual. And uh, yeah, basically porcupines in a nutshell. Going rambo all the time. Which is very, very annoying. I'm going to have to retreat again. I got like only four, two porcupines right around there. Which is really never, never really good against four vertex. And my Leviathan is not in full health. Okay. Yeah, he just knew where to fire at those Jaguars at. Because, yeah, I mean, he has got these kills. Because I'm live. Yeah. Inboy. Enemy inboy. Okay, I'm gonna have to retreat. Position my wasp here and destroy as many vertex as I can, even though my Leviathan will be destroyed. Okay. Yeah, some of the missiles did not reach that vertex, but whatever. Okay, four albatross now. I'm actually working on increasing that count little by little. Okay, now I think he's gonna try and attempt to move up the cliff. One hawk scout here to confirm what he have. Okay, and again, okay. a misstep on that Typhoon, completely. All right, and I was actually waiting for him to go above that cliff in there, and just now, this is not really looking good for him. That shield is way out of position as well as that one, and yeah, things are not really looking good for him. All right. So, again, we're just gonna have to try and demolish everything in here. I demolished, like, what? Two supply centers. So he go, he's down to seven. Meanwhile, I got, like, nine supply centers here. And this army of his is not really looking good now. One vertex will be destroyed along with those typhoons, which will actually um, retreat. Now, and here we go. Albatross here. Now, if you may have noticed that one hawk is attacking that X facility because I wanted to prevent him from producing any heroes at all. And here goes. Now, keep in mind that my albatross went on two separate ways but bombing the same location so that those vertex, regardless of how many vertex that he has, they will not be able to chase both of those albatrosses as they'll be exiting at two different locations. And yeah, at this point, I think it is clear as day as to who will win this battle. G. 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 Bro, welcome! Welcome to my stream at the time! <laughs> Marshall. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, smash the like button, ring the bell icon, and subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to check out my previous videos as they contain tips and tricks that can help you win a battle. I also have a guide play playlist that you can actually binge on, and the guide actually applies to both factions. And I do have two, um, you know, like videos for each faction, like the Confederation build order, um, Resistance build order, what's the best thing to upgrade, how to obtain free stuff like tokens, gold, blueprint whatever it is there so better check it out and share the stream or channel or video to other social media platforms and to your friends help them play better by checking my videos out thank you so much for watching have yourself a great day and good luck
with your battles. GG. Bye now.